Welcome to Modus, a powerful and versatile physical modeling synthesizer that mimics the way strings and plates behave acoustically. Modus gives you several formulations of string and plate elements connected using springs or rattles for a variety of possible configurations that give the plugin a huge sonic range. Let's take a quick look at the essential functions for sound design. At the top, you select the physical model that's generating sound. In this strings model, one string is plucked and it's connected to another that resonates. The two strings are connected by springs, which transfer energy between the plucked and the resonating string. You can swap these spring connections out for rattles down here in the connections panel. You can change the strength of the connections here, right down to zero where there's no connection at all. Now if we change the strings model type to four strings, we still get a single plucked string but it's now resonating three other strings. You can change the properties of all four of the strings in the edit panel on the left. And we can go beyond just strings by adding a resonant plate in the strings plate model. Or remove the strings and use one or two plates to generate Modus's sound. The plate models can either be struck or driven by an oscillator tone, which propagates around the whole model. Let's take a listen to a few presets to demonstrate the sounds we can generate by combining the settings in different ways. Modus has three types of virtual instrument to generate its sounds. Each model behaves differently, and you can select a model by clicking on the model type selector buttons near the top of the plugin. The strings model consists of two, three, or four strings, depending on the selected configuration. You can choose a model configuration by selecting it from the available configuration options. For the two, three, or four strings configurations, the first string is plucked while the remaining string or strings resonate through the springs or rattles. For the four paired configuration, the first two strings are plucked while the remaining two strings resonate. The strings plate model gives you two plucked strings, which are both connected to a resonating plate. When in strings plate mode, modus can be played monophonically or duophonically. Press the duo button 
to bring in a second voice. In duophonic mode, when you hit a second note, the first is damped and the second is excited. The plate model can either be configured as a single plate connected to the ground or two plates connected to one another. In the two plate mode, the top plate is struck while the bottom plate resonates. Switch either plate model to be driven and instead of hitting it, your setup will apply a saw or sine wave driver to the plate's surface. This creates a constant tone that resonates through the entire model. For the saw and sine driver types, you also get attack, decay and release controls to change the profile of the driver sound you apply. Each model type has connections between the strings or plates to transfer energy between them. There are two types of connection to choose from, rattle and spring. Rattles contain a gap between the connecting elements. The rattles repeatedly contact each other when enough force is applied through the plucked or struck component. Connecting through springs gives you continuous but flexible contacts between the parts of the model. You can adjust the rattle properties using the strength, speed and gap controls. Strength refers to how strong the connections are between the plucked component and the rest of the model. And so you can isolate only the struck portion of the model by setting strength to zero. As you can hear, increasing the strength results in more noisy and resonant sounds as more energy is transferred through the whole system. You can achieve cleaner sounds with lower strength values. The speed control affects how fast the connection reacts to the initial pluck or strike. As with many of Modus's controls, the speed parameter works in combination with the other connection settings, so its exact effect depends on a lot of other settings. Increasing the gap creates more space between the rattles and so more room for the rattle components to move after they strike each other. While using the springs connection, the strength and speed behave in the same way, but there's no gap within the connections, so the control is deactivated.
For each connection type, you can also select a map, which changes the position and configuration of the connections. The edit pane is where you can dive right into the setup of your strings and plates, changing their properties to alter their sound. The available controls will depend on the selected model. Let's start by looking at the strings model. Strings that are plucked are shown as coming towards you in the 3D model view, and strings that just resonate are shown horizontally across. We can set properties for all strings in a model, and we'll start with string 1, which is the plucked string. Damping controls how much the vibrations are damped after the string is sounded. Tone changes the tone of the material, with lower values sounding darker and higher values sounding brighter. Type changes the number of modes that are computed within a string. At its minimum value, the string behaves more like a bar. At the maximum value, it behaves like a string. When editing strings 2, 3 or 4, the resonating strings, you can alter the mass ratio and tuning for each string relative to the string that's plucked. Using the mass ratio control, a resonating string can have its mass set compared to the main plucked string. The right tuning fader applies coarse tuning by up to an octave. And the notches in the fader signify plus or minus five or seven semitones. The left tuning fader lets you fine tune the selected string by up to a semitone up or down. In addition to the per string settings, there are global string settings at the bottom of the edit pane. Stretch changes the inharmonicity of the partials for all strings. Real stiff strings have overtones that vary from the pure harmonic series. This control allows you to set how far from an ideal string at 2 the model becomes. Move the microphone icon to adjust the string's sound output position. And the triangle icon indicates the pluck position. Thank you. 
The tone of that pluck can be changed using the pluck control. You can recreate a harder pluck like a plectrum to a soft pluck like a finger. The attack and release controls behave the same as an amplitude ADSR envelope on a traditional synth. Increasing the attack time slows down the onset of a note's level. The release time sets how long it takes for the signal to fade out after a note is released. In the strings plate model, you can independently edit the strings and plate portions of the model by switching between them at the top of the edit pane. The strings edit page gives you the same controls as on string one in strings mode plus mass. The mass control affects the connection strength and how the signal flows through the connections. In strings plate mode, the attack control works the same as in strings mode, but the release control is deactivated. At the top of the plate edit controls, you can set the plate sound output position by clicking and dragging the microphone icons. As you can hear, the signal tends to sound brighter and clearer. The closer to the edge of the plate, the output is captured. The damping, tone and mass controls behave in the same way as in the strings model. The edit pane in the plates model also gives you fundamental control, which changes the fundamental frequency of the lowest mode of vibration of the plate. In the plates model, the plate is driven by a signal, which can either be a saw wave, a sine wave, or by a physical strike. The sound is then captured from the plates as they resonate. The saw and sine waves are chromatic and respond to the key pressed, but the strike is atonal. To select a driver type, click on the corresponding buttons here. While using the saw driver type, Modus's filter, which we'll get to later on, is switched to filter the driver signal instead of the model's entire output. You can also adjust the driver position by moving the triangle in the driver position window. As well as driver options, you get the same damping, tone, mass, and fundamental controls as in the plate edit pane of the strings plate section.
For the saw and sign drivers, you can adjust the attack, decay and release settings to change the envelope of the sound. With the strike driver type, the ADR controls are deactivated. Switching on the multi-strike feature causes the plugin to produce repeating strikes with a single note press. Set how hard the model is being struck using the force parameter, from not at all at zero to maximum velocity at one. You can adjust how frequently the model is struck using the rate parameter. You can also sync the multi-strike by toggling on the sync button. Turn up the random amount to introduce some variation and drift to the rate's timings. You can add modulation and movement to a selection of parameters within Modus within the LFO section. Click on the drop down arrow to select one of the modulation destinations for that LFO. For each LFO, you can choose from sine, upward ramp, or random LFO shapes. Use the rate dial to adjust the speed of the LFO and the depth dial to adjust the modulation amount. Note that LFOs 1 and 2 have different modulation destinations to choose from. Yeah. 
the model gains section is where you can mix the sound captured from each component of your configuration. Using the gains, you can accentuate, attenuate, or even isolate any component of the model. A meter signifies when Modus's inbuilt limiter is applying gain reduction. Modus also contains effects to help take your sound further. The Voltage Controlled Filter, or VCF, is modeled on a classic low-pass ladder filter design. You can adjust the frequency cutoff using the cutoff dial. and you can adjust filter resonance with a resonance control. In some configurations, the VCF section is automatically deactivated. This includes the strings plate model type, and while the sign or strike driver modes are selected in the plate model type. You can drive the signal out of the filter by increasing the driver mount. When in strike mode within the plates model type, the drive parameter is automatically deactivated. Turn on Modus's inbuilt delay by clicking on the delay button. You can independently adjust the delay times of the left and right channels using each delay time dial. Use the level dial to control how much of the delay is introduced to the mix. And the feedback dial to adjust how much of the delayed signal is fed back into the delay's input. Modus's inbuilt algorithmic reverb is fixed on as default, but you can bring the reverb into the mix using the level dial. The decay parameter adjusts the length of the tail.
To use Modus as an MPE instrument, make sure MPE is active in your door and in the plugin. The different MPE parameters, pitch on the x-axis, timbre on the y-axis, and pressure control different things depending on the model you have selected. In the strings and strings plate models, the x-axis controls pitch to plus or minus seven semitones. The y-axis controls pluck force. And pressure controls the strength of the connections between the parts. With the sawtooth or sine wave driver type selected within the plate models, the x-axis controls pitch continuously. The y-axis controls overall amplitude. And pressure has no effect. With the plate's strike driver selected, the x-axis is deactivated, while the y-axis controls the strike force. And pressure controls the strength of the connections between the parts. You can shape Modus's output signal using high and low shelving EQs. Click on the EQ button at the top of the plugin to access them. Click and drag within each frequency pane to shape your signal. Modus accepts pitch bend data from your MIDI keyboard or door. By default, the pitch bend range is set to plus or minus two semitones. You can change the pitch bend range using this drop down menu. Modus has a handy randomize button that's great for finding new sounds and inspiration. Click on the dice at the bottom right of the 3D model to randomize the settings of the edit panel and connections panel. You can undo the last randomization by clicking on the undo button. Remember, the randomize button only adjusts connection and edit pane sections and leave the rest of your model settings intact. The droplet icon next to the randomize button can be used to force the model to be damped, thus stopping the signal from sounding or feeding back. Click on any control to show its current value. Double click on any control to reset the value to its default setting. And you can move any control more finely by holding command or control while you adjust it. At the bottom right of the plugin, you can use the output level to change the gain at the output of your sound. 
This can be particularly useful when you make extreme adjustments to the model gains or when you apply a lot of drive. And that's every feature of Modus. Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can download the plugin if you haven't already by heading to physicalaudio.co.uk.